Hey, welcome back, Ben again. And today in this very short video, we're gonna look at how you can run your own large language model on your computer locally without needing to use ChatGPT or a cloud service or some other sort of service. You can do everything privately and on your own system. So today I'm gonna to show you two different ways we can run a LLM locally on your own machine. And the first one I'm gonna look at is called Olama, which is basically just a platform for opening a GUI on your local system and having a model run. So in here we can download from Mac OS, Windows or Linux, and I already actually have it installed with a couple models in it, but the installation progress and process is very simple. So all I'm gonna do is open Olama now, and you can see it's a very chat GPT-like experience. And again, the install takes about a few minutes, and I do have one model loaded up already, and I did install another one also, and I'll show you how you can pick a model so you can either pick one from here if you already know which model you wanna use. You click one and then when you start typing, it'll download the model for you. There's also cloud models if you wanna run through Olama, but you just want a local interface, but just be aware that this will be going through their servers and not on your machine locally. If you wanna look for a new model, you can go up here to models and they have a whole bunch of different models meant for a whole bunch of different things. But for today, I'm just gonna look at GPT OSS, which is a very generic one that lots of people like to use. And you can see they give you a little run command here on how to get it as long with all the descriptions about what it does and all sorts of metrics. But if you wanna download it for yourself, you can copy this command and open command prompt. This one was about 13 gigabytes, so I already run it, run it in the background. So you can see I typed in this command, it downloaded, and now it actually opens a chat window right here which we can either use right in the command line or we can open up in the GUI. This one might be a little bit broken since I was doing it in the background. Oh, there it goes. So that works. And we can also pull it up in here. GPT OSS. How are you today? And how long it's going to take to run each query is going to be dependent on your system. And there we go. I'm just a bundle of code. So there we go. We already have one LLM working on here and I did have Deep Seek too, wherever that went. So I can switch the model and now it's a Deep Seek. You can also see, you can have chats here. You can see where I misspelled hello, but it's very, very much like chat GPT. So this one is very familiar to people. So very easy to set up. The other one that we can use is called LM. So I'm actually in the wrong tab here. Let me duplicate that. That's for the model, but if we go to LM Studio, this is again, another download, and you can see it's a little bit more complicated, but it is quite, again, very similar to ChatGPT and how you can message it. So again, this is one I have downloaded, if I can misspell. All right, and here's LM Studio opened up. So again, it looks a little bit more like a programming IDE, kind of like VS Code, if you ask me, but it works very similar, again, to Olama. So up top, we can select a model to load, and when you open this for the first time, it'll actually ask you to download a model, and this is gonna be the default one. So again, we can just use that. And you can see at the top, it's gonna to load. The first time you do it, it might take a little extra longer as it has to kind of configure everything in the background. But while that's loading, if we also want other models, again, we can go up top to models. And again, very similar to Olamo, where we can choose which one we'd like to use. So I did already download this one, GLM Flash. So again, this is just another model that you can download. And if you click get, you can run it in LM Studio or you can use the command prompt like we did for Olama. And doing run in, all it's gonna do is open it for you. So we'll do that here. It's gonna ask to open it. We're gonna open the link. And I believe I might already have this one, I don't remember. So you can choose download options. Looks like you don't have it yet. So we can click download. And we can see on the left here, it's going to have our download pages. You might have to download some other uh, executable files, but it'll tell you to install it here. If you can see, we're installing that. But in the meantime, this open, AP, open AI model has loaded. So again, we can say, hello, spelled correctly this time. And there we go. What's nice about this one is that it does show you how many tokens you've used and how long it took for, this, for the amount of tokens and also why it stopped. It's also nice that it shows you why it was thinking or what it was thinking and how. 
And there's a whole lot more you can do with this, but I'm not going to get into that today as that's up for you to discover. But if you would like to see more, please let me know. We can go deeper into this. But other than that, that is all it takes to run your own local large language model and have fun with it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.